So hello everyone, welcome to another Warframe video and today I want to talk a little bit about the newest Dev Workshop and some of the stuff they were talking about on the latest Dev Stream. And this is mostly because, well, there isn't actually much going on in Warframe this week. We didn't actually get any updates or anything new on Thursday, so we'll have to wait until next week. The workshop I want to talk about is titled Melee Present and Future Goals. I'm not going to talk about the Sauron rework, by the way, which should be coming next week, I think, because while it all looks really good and sensible, I actually think it's going to be a good rework. There is a pretty big variable floating around that they haven't decided on yet, and that's whether or not your spores will spread to nearby enemies when you kill an enemy affected by spores. And that's going to be pretty important on how the whole rework is going to feel. Now that I've mentioned it, I feel like I should do at least sort of a TLDR version. So they made it so that spores have infinite duration and their damage will ramp up with each tick, stacking all the way up to 100,000 damage per tick, which is pretty crazy. They now do corrosive damage instead of viral and miasma does viral instead of corrosive, which actually makes an awful lot of sense because you only need to proc viral every now and then, so it works better for miasma and you want to proc corrosive a lot because it strips armor a bit at a time. Malt is going to give you a bit of a speed buff when you first chat it, which is really cool, and it will have a short invulnerability period where it absorbs damage when you first cast it, which is really nice as well because it means it won't instantly get destroyed in high level missions. You also cannot put spores on your malt anymore, it is an invalid target. And the final ability change is that Toxic Clash will no longer give you energy when you pop a spore, but it will now add double damage to melee weapons and it will work for all weapons, so you can add toxin damage to your primary or secondary as well. And then there are some miscellaneous changes like buffing the armor on both Standard Sauron and Sauron Prime and giving her a voice, which I assume is going to be something like Warcry for Valkyr where she just, well, lets out a war cry when you press the ability button. And that's pretty much all about that. Let's talk about the upcoming melee rework, which no one knows when it's going to be done, but it's probably going to take a while because it is a pretty huge rework. What we know so far is that they want to make it so that melee weapons will no longer hit enemies through geometry, so if you're memeing around or you're just using a weapon that has a lot of range and there is an enemy standing behind like a box or it's taken cover or it's behind a wall, you won't be able to hit them anymore. That's one of the smaller changes and I'm okay with that because while it's going to make farming a little bit harder because you won't be able to break boxes through doors and stuff like that, it is a good change overall. It's going to make melee a lot less dull, you will actually have to pay attention. The first big change, however, is that they are basically getting rid of channeling and kind of combining it into blocking. I don't know. I've read everything. I watched the dev stream and I still don't understand how it works. The second big change is that they want to kind of homogenize stances and bring them closer together. So you don't have stances that have like stupidly difficult combos that have like 11 attacks. They want to bring them closer together. And the way I understand this from what they've said and what I've read is that all the combos will basically be the same across all the stances, so you only need to learn them once and then swapping the stances will basically just change the flavor and the moves. So let's just say the first combo will be a button mash across all the stances, the second combo will have a pause after the second attack on all the stances and so on and so on and so on. The third big change is that they are basically changing the entire melee system and the combo system with it. We will now have light and heavy attacks, so light attacks will build up the combo counter and heavy attacks will spend it. It also seems like the combo counter will only affect the final heavy attack that spends the built up combo. It won't affect the light attacks. Now light attacks are basically what we are using now and heavy attacks will be replacing charge attacks, so those will go away as well. Now, since light attacks are not affected by the combo counter anymore, they will increase the damage of all melee weapons quite substantially because that would be a massive nerf. And since heavy attacks will basically reset your combo counter, they are making the stacking of the combo counter much faster. So you don't need to get like 1000 hits to get a 4 times combo. And the final point about heavy attacks is that since they will have longer, more drawn out animations, you will be able to animation cancel by dodging. And the final big change is to slam attacks. We will be able to do directional slam, so you don't have to slam straight down. You can actually kind of just dive bomb the enemy at an angle, which looks super cool. And all of this will be piled on top of mastery reworks, damage reworks, stat reworks, basically the same things that we already got to primary and secondary weapons. Also, this is just a developer workshop. It is all subject to change, so don't freak out just yet. Now, I think this will overall be a much more fun and engaging melee system. I mean, uh, the clips that they've shown of Rebecca playing and stuff looked really cool but I don't know how well it's going to slot into Warframe. Let's take the light and heavy attacks and how they interact with the combo counter as an example. 
The idea here, I presume, is to build up your combo counter using light attacks on the smaller enemies and then spend them using the heavy attack if you run into a beefier enemy. The first thing they'll have to do is nerf or somehow change blood rush because if the combo counter is stacking faster, you will be in red crit territory in no time. And no one will use heavy attacks because you would lose those red crits. They could make it so that blood rush will only apply to the heavy attack but at that point it's just a waste of a mod because it doesn't do anything most of the time. And I honestly can't think of a way to fix this because even if they nerf it and make it stack at half the speed that's just gonna make people not want to do heavy attacks even more because it would take them longer to stack it back up. And I'm pretty sure it's not just blood rush they'll probably have to change a few more mods. The second issue I can potentially see here is that people will just not use it. I have a video playlist on the channel called Warframe Stances where I've showcased every single stance that's in the game right now and I see the same comment over and over and over again. Well, the combos are cool, they do a lot of damage, but I can't be arsed. I'm just gonna do the button mash combo, maybe the block combo. And even though I have learned to pull off these combos over and over and over again so I can showcase them and talk about them in the video, I honestly can't be arsed most of the time either. I will just stick to the button mash or the block combo, whichever one is better. Now granted that is not the same, there is a problem with the stance system that they are trying to fix by homogenizing the stances. But just imagine for a second that charge attacks are not shite, okay? You don't have to do the ghost strike first, you press a button and it goes off. You run into a room that has, let's just say, 20 light units and 3 heavy units. Are you A, going to mash the attack button and slowly whittle the heavy units down with the light units? Or are you B, going to use the combo for the light units and once you run into the heavy unit, you will stop the combo and do a charge attack? I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same as it is with every stance. I learn all the combos and I weave them in all the time, but as time goes on, I will slowly go back to either the button mash combo or the block combo. So I would be weaving in heavy attacks at the start, but as time goes on, I would be weaving them in less and less and less until I would just use the light attack again. Now, once again, it is not the same thing, right? We're talking combos versus light and heavy attacks, but it could end up being that way. I can't even imagine how terrifying a rework like this has to be for the developers, because if that happens, if people just ignore this, that's a lot of time, just poof, gone. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention this, they finally want to implement the full dual wielding system, the one they were teasing about a year ago and then only did it for Glaive, so you should be able to dual wield any one-handed uh, melee weapon and any one-handed secondary pistol. And it seems that they want to nerf range mods, so reach and prime reach, and they finally want to display the proper range on melee weapons. I don't know how they're gonna do that, but that'd be kinda nice, you know, actually seeing how far your weapon can reach would be pretty cool. Now the response overall seems to be somewhat mixed, bordering on kind of negative from what I've read on the workshop post. I'm personally somewhat neutral because we obviously don't know everything, they know things that we don't, and they're definitely asking the same questions we are right now, like how is this going to work, how is that going to work, what are we going to do about this, so what I would recommend you do is you go there and you let them know what you think, give them feedback, don't just be a doomsayer, don't shitpose them, just go there and let them know what you think. Because if they see a lot of people saying things such as, well, I can't be arsed with combos now, what makes you think I'm gonna be arsed with heavy attacks, they might think about it a little bit more. Don't phrase it like that, obviously, don't be a douche, you're talking to another human being. But if we raise our concerns, we might get some more information, letting us know how they're trying to address it and what they're doing about it, or it might make them think about these systems a little bit more. It sounds good, I like the idea of a more involved melee system because what you're seeing and what you have been seeing for the past 9 minutes is what melee is for me. I pick one combo and I just do it over and over and over again. But anyway, I think I've been rambling for long enough, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.